Hello everyone. This is going to be a tad bit difficult. Why? Because it is a Nuit Nova. Now, this game, I've seen it before. It's quite sprite ish, pixelated. It seems to have a very fancy art style to it. And believe me, it is fast. I think it is quite difficult to punish it as well. Now, what can I tell you about this? My first tip would be, you play that shit in full screen. You, you have to have it in full screen. For recording purposes, I've had to, you know, put it on stretch. Because for XYZ reason, I cannot detect it on full screen. Yet, that's my own problem. You'll find other ways. Let's start a new game and put it on normal. Now, first things first, you attack quite fast. And there's a horde of robots. Now your main tool of attack is basically uh, this. Oh, what's this mouse pointer for? Ah, uh, mostly because your character is fast as hell. And there you go. You start out by running from this insane piece of shit. Let's go! Anything from backward? Nothing at all. Now, I can do my standard attacks, but if I find enemies like this, I can zip in and start doing my flurries of blows. Also, I can take enemies and chuck them. There you go. Chucking enemies. I also have a Falcon Dash attack. I always call it Falcon Dash. I don't don't ask me why. But yes, as soon as you target an enemy, you will zip through them or to them. And you just keep going like that. Also, as you can see, my dash is uh, a special move. I can also have a flying spin attack. So your manual the your dexterity in this game is crazy. So crazy that this enemy couldn't follow me because I went behind him. Of course, I am dealing with cannon fathers right now, so it's not that big of a deal. Yet, I am at least... Can I collect these things? I do not know. I honestly do not know. I've taken the tutorial, but I don't know what I can and cannot do. What the hell? Oh, hide behind a tree. Or behind that block, of course. I like that. It makes sense. Wouldn't you hide behind something like that? So as you can see, it is fast-paced. There's a lot of action. It is nuts. It's telling you to go crazy. And that's all I can tell you. That's all you need to know. Oh god. Oh, I love that dash to evade. In order to evade. Oh crap, I took a hit. Bad timing. And this guy got treed. Don't fuck with trees. I love this. This has this whole feeling. And you're never really gimped for distance. Because that's part of the game's process, you know? As soon as you click in, um, on an enemy. You will be just zipping towards them. Of course, I should continue going. Oh, there we go. Frankly, I don't need to take care of these guys, but eh, you never know. Extra points, right? But uh, yeah, speed is part of the case. I do not think I have a time limit, nor do I know if I have any bonuses for speed. But what I know is I can just dive kick my way through the level. Uh, through the first level, of course. Whoa! And of course, I gotta hang on. Whoa, what? Oh, nice! Jeez. Trying to hold on here. Ah, crap! Middle. Damn it. You've got me on the rope now. Oh, crap. Okay. I've got your patterns. Somewhat got them. So yes, the zipping true. 
just makes the game much faster pace and keeps you just keeps you on edge, constantly trying to get your combos up uh, like a crazy lunatic, of course. And of course, being able to grab enemies while you're zipping them or zipping to them, ow! That is an also a great addition. Like being able to just fling them into each other and say, "Fuck! I don't care if you have weapons. I've got my own." Uh, there is a couple of confusing issues by just, okay, should I go up front, should I destroy all the enemies? Um, took another hit there, yet, aside from that, it's just a lot of fun. Pixelated fun. <laughs> Pixelated fun. No, but uh, the gameplay remains basic and, hell, why not, right? And here comes a boss. Mordecai Fluke! Oh, okay. I see your game plan. Oh, thank God for evading that. Oh, close call. Come on! Fight me! Oh, I got that critical hit going. Oh! Come on! Show me that core! Huh. I love this little timing game. It's... Ooh! That's new! Oh! Okay. Death symbol? Ah, oh, I was trying to check it out. Nice pattern, though. Very nice pattern. As I'm just constantly roughing it out, mostly because it's the first level, and, you know, it's an introduction, but the game gets much harder. Much harder. And even on this, like, easy introduction level, wow, the enemy still did a fuck you attack, where if I stayed in there, I would have took a hit, and a la Castlevania, Rondo of Blood, well, ouch. Can't be bothered. Well, then. That was a robot. It's turned off a couple of years. Uh huh. Crazy robots are in fact darns. We we're vanquished by Nui to Love back then, the first game. So now you might as well get the first game to know what the hell happened, or get a another taste of the gameplay. But either way, I'm pretty sure it's quite similar. And this one's been upgraded. Let's see. Do I get to rotate my save? I don't. I just save. Interesting. Unexpected. Let's check out the second level, and that's about it, right? Turn to, uh-huh. Places of the Pat, no sight of the Darkness mission. And we assume the Blue responsible for the event, so let's go. Let's get going. Who is this shadowed person? Whoa! You get that Castlevania type of feeling here. Death just swooped in, and we have the Medusas. What the hell? That's kind of cool. I'm trying to do the grab attack, though. Fuck it. I should just run with it. Okay, just run with it. Trying to get too fancy with the grab attacks. Let's go. Wreck some people. Gotta be careful. There's rocks. There's madness. I don't want to hit rock bottom on this one. Oh, God! Seems like the rock bottom hit me. Whoa! I gotta fight that. Come on! I love my dodging methods. Just being... Just doing a dash attack counts as a dodge. Woo! Okay. It's all about just aiming your attack correctly. And then damage controlling the... Uh... Oh, and I forgot to tell about this. This is a shield function. 
there goes death. You are not meant for this world. Even though you still exist. Hey, who the hell are you? Some random cool guy. Oh, some cool guy who's got a face with zombies now. Thank god, zombies are not faster than my dash attack. Which is my end-all, be-all type of, type of deal here. This really feels like a cave shooter, in a sense. Because I can just zip through any direction, um, damage control it, or area affect it, and then just call it a day. Oh, I gotta go through the guillotine! That's kinda cool. But if only my targeting was better. Let's go! There we go. Huh. Keep calm and just dive kick. There we go. There we go. Just precise dive kicking. What the fuck are you supposed to be? Whoa! Uh, okay. Oh, my shield won't work on that. Oh, crap. I can at least set up a shield like that so that I can compensate some damage. There we go. Oh, yes. Thank you, shield. Last minute. Clutching it out. Oh, your missiles, that's the second boss or mini boss in a row. So this game is here to keep you on your toe, this game is here just to keep you hyped. And I love it for that, that's my kind of deal. Huh? Oh. Right. Have a shield. That's the the shield function at its best. Ah! Oh! God, not at, not at my best, but at its best, of course. Of course, uh, the best option would have been just to cut the shield up. Um, I love its damage properties, or its uh, damage dealing problem. Not damage dealing- Ah, oh, crap! Damage saving you. Damage protecting you. There we go. Okay. And also, it does explain a bit on how to get, get past through these things. Just by showing you the shield icon, okay. I gotta use the shield, I can make this work. Jeez, this guy tried. Oh, god! I was trying to daze it with my epic twitch jumping abilities, which uh, obviously did not work, as you obviously saw. He had none of my shit. What's next? The joy! Oh boy. Love this background. Uh. Oh. I see. I see. That's interesting. Wow. Oh. Ah, oh, man. I get to just figure out which side is he going on. Oh, crap. This is kind of a bit of a problem. Whoa, brother! See, like, I don't feel jibbed by that boss battle. Oh, maybe I could have uh, a second hit. Whoa! Ah, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Let's go! Okay, I see how it's supposed to work. Ah, it's just being able to evade is not my forte at this point. But this boss is relatively easy. Relatively easy. It was a bit of a pain in the ass at the beginning because of all this uh, his gimmickry. Yet yeah, that wasn't too annoying. Noi to love to devolution. It's worth checking it out. Like, I've showed you the raw gameplay. That was only two level, and it's gonna ramp up. And this is only D level. So uh, imagine, I'd have to get more of a combo, more kills, less hit taken, and doing it in a faster time. Fucking nuts. Loving it.
So, guys, new to love to devolution. It's on Steam. You can also get the first one, and I do not know if there's going to be a third game, or if there's already a third game. I just got into the series, and I'm liking it. Even though it's mouse and keyboard only, it makes sense, seeing its combat system. So check it out. Give it some sprite love and some epic boss rushing love. Or some Nui to love. I'll see you later, guys.